Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So I have to say that I don't know if Smashbox has ever released a full collection of products all of which I was really, really excited to try. I feel like in the past, Smashbox will launch new products and they'll launch color extensions of existing products, but it's really rare that they release a full collection of a bunch of different products that have a consistent theme that I love. I'm sure many of you guys have seen this collection floating about your local Sephora or Ulta. It is the new Smashbox and Vlada collaboration collection. If you guys don't know who Vlada is, first off, she is absolutely stunning. She's also the lip editor in chief of Smashbox. So basically all of the beautiful Smashbox lip swatches that you see floating around are Vlada and her freaking perfect lips. In case you guys couldn't tell by the PR box right here, all of the products are in rose gold packaging. This PR package was really, really generous. It had the entire collection in it, which I love to be able to come on here and show you guys full collection swatches. I can talk really in depth about each of the products. And because I do own and have tested out every single product in the collection, I'm able to come on here and tell you guys which products are worth it, which products aren't. I will say that there's some things I love. There's some things that I actually hate and there's some things that are sort of in the middle so we've got a mixed bag of stuff to talk about today so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it because there are eight different types of products in this collection and then within each type of product there are multiple shades so we got a lot of ground to cover in this video so I don't want to keep babbling on and on let's just go ahead and jump right into the products I'm gonna talk about the most exciting products first at least I feel like this is kind of the core of the collection these are the new Petal Metal Highlighters. We've got three different shades that were launched in this collection. Two of them, the ones that come in this beautiful, beautiful packaging. These are available anywhere that Smashbox products are sold. However, one shade is a Sephora exclusive. Let's jump into talking about the two shades that are available universally first. This is what the amazing packaging looks like. I'm honestly drooling over this packaging. It's rose gold all the way around. The top is this actual rose gold flower. The compact has a magnetic closure. There is a little mirror up here that does say Smashbox and Vlada. Maybe you guys can see it. And then the actual highlighter powder also has the beautiful rose embossing. Gotta say this packaging, A+. Plus. Absolutely A+. Plus. I will also say the packaging is probably why these are really, really expensive. Each of these highlighters retails for $39, which I will say is very, very steep. Again, I understand this was a custom tooled compact without a doubt. This is custom to Smashbox. Tooling something like this is very, very expensive. So again, I understand the price, but that also doesn't make it any easier to swallow if we're being honest. I don't know why the Sephora exclusive shade comes in this packaging. This is obviously a lot less flashy here. It just has that kind of like clear rubbery type feel. But again, the inside of the compact is exactly the same as the other one. The actual product does have the rose embossing. Here are the three shades of petal metal highlighters that Smashbox launched. The first one we have is Gilded Gold, which is a gold with gold and pink pearl in it. Next up, we have Rose Mantic, which is a soft rose rust with gold pearl and finally we have prismatic petal which is the sephora exclusive shade this one is more glittery in finish the other two were definitely more metallic this one is an iridescent glittery rose gold smashbox says that these are a gel powder highlighter it's supposed to leave the skin looking smooth and radiant for up to 10 hours i have my notes here that's what i'm reading off of all the shades also feature a clear base formula that allows for the purest possible reflection of light with a super smooth feel that won't emphasize uneven skin texture. Let's talk about the texture of these two first. I feel like with Smashbox describing these as a gel powder hybrid, they were basically saying it's Smashbox's version of the Estee Lauder Powder Gelée or the MAC in Extra Dimension finishes. Both of those formulas are also described as like a gel powder hybrid. I believe they start off as a gel and then they're kind of baked into a 
powder. I don't feel like either of these shades are quite as punchy or metallic or I guess breathtaking would be the word as something like the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. I mean, if you've ever swatched those, you know, like they literally go on like wet. Not that these aren't pretty, but I don't feel like they're quite as smooth. You definitely have to use this formula with stiff brushes, otherwise you will start creating a hard pan. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this if I pull you guys in closer, but there is already some hard pan starting to develop on this area. Gilded Gold, I do feel like is a pretty universal gold pinky highlighter. Rose Mantic, on the other hand, is pretty deep. This wouldn't even be a highlighter on my tan complexion. I've definitely used this shade as like a blush topper, but as a highlighter on deep skin tones, this would be gorgeous. But on light to tan complexions, this is still gonna be a little too dark. In terms of the shade Prismatic Petal, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I did pick this shade up during the Sephora VIB sale. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, I post a lot on there. A lot of things that don't make it into my videos. I, I do a lot of stuff on Instagram, so definitely follow me there. I talked about this product and how I picked it up during my kind of second mini round of the VIB sale. It's interesting. It's definitely flaky when you first swatch it, so you might think there's no way this is gonna go nicely on the skin. I really, really enjoy using this color topped over over one of the other two highlighters with my finger. I'll just go into it with my index finger, get a little bit on there and just kind of get it on the top part. When you blend it in with your finger, it doesn't look glittery, but it definitely adds this really interesting pink duochrome iridescence. I've liked this as almost like a highlighter topper. You know how I said Rosemantic can be a blush topper? I feel like Prismatic Petal is like a highlighter topper. If you feel like you already own every single highlighter color under the freaking moon basically the way I feel like I do I do think prismatic petal will add a little bit of unique dimension to your highlighter collection it's been fun to mix and match this with other colors I already have moving into the next product in the collection this is the one eyeshadow palette they came out with it's called the cover shot petal metal eyeshadow palette it comes in this really really pretty packaging I love how sleek it is of course it's got the rose gold it's got a magnetic closure there's a little bit of a mirror up here and then you are getting eight different shadows. I was shocked, shocked by the quality of this palette. This is a good one guys. It's neutral, yes. Don't get me wrong. While there's a lot of metallic in here that can give you a nice kind of pop of shine on the lids, Obviously, there's no crazy colors. This little palette retails for $29. Smashbox describes it as a pigment-powered eyeshadow palette featuring a wearable rainbow of rose gold. Rainbow of rose gold. Isn't that kind of like an oxymoron? Isn't rainbow implying that there's like those bright colors, like red, orange, green, blue, shiny, yellow, purple too? No, just me? I don't know. Okay, anyways. This does have a lot of different variations. I wouldn't say everything in here is rose gold. I would say you definitely have some champagnes, you have some bronzes, you have two mattes. You have this one, which is a perfect matte medium brown transition, and then this one, which is your matte dark brown. But wow, these six metallic shades, Let's start with that. Buttery, like you just couldn't even imagine. They're insanely pigmented. They are beautiful. As far as the two matte shades, those are, again, super pigmented, blendable, easy to use. The perfect two matte shades, in my opinion. This works amazingly as a crease color, and this one as a liner or outer corner. If there was one thing I would add to this palette, it would be a light matte buttercream type color to use as a highlight, but other than that, one little thing I would change. I really, really love this palette. Here are swatches of all eight of the shadows you get in the Petal Metal eyeshadow palette. From left to right, we have Fresh Stem, Opal Rose, Nude Rose, Rose Quartz, Floral Support, Rose Rocked, Exo Vlada, 
and coffee blossom. Yeah, I feel like the swatches speak for themselves. This is such a nice little travel palette. Again, are any of the colors unique? No, not necessarily, but if you need just a small palette with really, really high quality, I mean top-notch quality eyeshadows in apparently a rainbow of rose gold hues, I think this is a really good one. Next up, we're gonna discuss the two shades of liquid liner that Smashbox launched. These are the Smashbox and Vlada Petal Metal Liquid Eyeliners. Here's what the packaging of the liquid liners looks like. The one that's a rose gold color is called 24 Karat Rose. That one has a rose gold top. The one called Black Rose has a black top. These liquid liners are supposed to be long wearing, water resistant, and non smudging. Here are the two shades of liquid liner launched in this collection. First up, we have 24K Rose, which is described as a metallic rose gold pearl. And then we have Black Rose, which is described as a black with rose gold pearl. These are definitely unique liquid liner shades. I will say you obviously have to like metallic liner to like these. I think these liners would be really interesting to wear if you're wearing an all matte look or if you're just not wearing any shadow and you're just looking for a little bit of dimension or a little bit of sparkle because the rose gold shade isn't necessarily going to give your lashes dimension but it will give you a really unique pop of color. You can even use this on your lower lash line. I feel like that would be pretty cool especially in the summertime. Both of the liquid liners are are very good. They're very pigmented. They have just the right amount of fluidness across the upper lash line. They're not patchy, but they retail for $24 a piece. And I feel like for $24, I personally don't see myself reaching for these types of shades very often. So I don't feel like it would necessarily be worth it for me. Next up, we're going to go ahead and talk about the three shades of Always On Petal Metal Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I zoomed you guys in because inevitably I am going to be doing lip swatches for you guys so you can see them all up close and personal. This is exactly the same always on metallic liquid lipstick formula that Smashbox has previously launched. So here are the three shades of matte liquid lipstick that Smashbox has in this collection. From left to right we have Desert Rose, in Bloom and XO Vlada. Smashbox claims these to be an eight hour metallic matte lipstick that won't flake, bleed, or feather. It's also got a primer oil complex that prevents it from drying out. I've raved about the Smashbox Always On matte liquid lipstick formula in the past. I really, really love it. I think everything they claim is completely true. Maybe without the eight hour wear. Maybe if you're not eating and drinking, you can get eight hours, but I would say these last for a solid four to five hours on the lips. Because they're so thin and lightweight, they are really easy to reapply, especially if you just kind of need to touch up the inner portion where they fade away the most. In terms of the packaging, they come in a short little square squatty tube. The actual applicator is this interesting little teardrop shape with a little hole in the middle, which does hold a little bit more product. I find this applicator really, really easy to use. It holds just the right amount of product without overloading your lips. So let's go ahead and jump right into lip swatches of all three of these shades of matte liquid lips. First off, we have Desert Rose, which is described as a copper with copper pearl, which is basically what it is. It looks like a metallic copper penny color on your lips. In Bloom is described as a mauve with mauve and silver pearl in it. This one is definitely more of your pinky rose gold type color and I actually feel like this one is fairly wearable. And then the final shade we have is called XO Vlada and this is described as a metallic rose gold. I will say the applicator on this one came a little funkified. It's kind of like a bent back as you guys can see. That fire Fire alarm is going to drive me up a wall. I actually believe Smashbox did release this shade when they came out with their shade extension line of the metallic liquid lips, which I did do a full review and lip swatch video on. I'll link it up here for you. And that will only be happening if I don't go to jail for murdering my neighbor for not turning off their freaking fire alarm. So those were the three matte liquid lipsticks swatched on my skin tone so you could see how they look on a tan complexion. Overall, I think the quality of this formula is really good. It's just about if these are your types of colors or if this is your type of formula. You have to want a long wearing matte metallic 
neutral toned liquid lipstick. And if that's what you're looking for, these are really, really good. The next liquid lip formula that is in this collection, they also came out with three shades of this. This is the Be Legendary Petal Metal Liquid Lip. This is another formula that's a permanent product to the Smashbox line. They just released a couple new shades. Each of these lip products, as well as each of the metallic liquid lips, retail for $24 a pop. These are matte, these are not. According to Smashbox, this is a metallic liquid lipstick that glides on the full coverage of a liquid lipstick and the high impact shine of a gloss. And it's also got a lightweight and comfortable liquid gel formula. This is a really interesting formula. It is fairly lightweight. You can feel it on the lips more than the matte liquid lips because these actually dry down. I wouldn't describe them as overly sticky, but they definitely have a little bit of cling to them. Because of that, I don't find that these drift or bleed or feather. They will transfer onto, you know, napkins, glasses, that kind of stuff. My best description of this formula, if you've never used it before, would be like a very, very open opaque but not overly heavy gel lip gloss. In terms of the actual packaging, they come in a long round tube. The tube also has the little rose here at the top for this collection. I think that's really cute. This applicator is a little funky. It's kind of like a triangle, but it has a curve on one side. And I do feel like it hugs the lips really well. I like this applicator. So here are the three shades of Be Legendary Petal Metal Liquid Lip that that Smashbox released in this collection. From left to right, we have Petal Metal, Rose Magic, and XO Vlada. So now let's go ahead and jump right into lip swatches so you can see all three of these beautiful metallic shades swatched on my skin tone. First off, we have Petal Metal, which is described as a metallic rose gold. As you can see, it's very, very metallic, and it is really, really, you know, metallic. Next up we have Rose Magic, which is described as a metallic rust rose gold. This one I will say out of the three shades is the most wearable, probably because it's the darkest and least metallic. And then finally we have XO Vlada, which is described as a metallic bronze warm gold. This one I will say is also fairly wearable. It's a really nice medium metallic copper. So I hope you guys enjoyed those lip swatches and they were helpful. Just just so you guys can see what these actually look like on the lips. As you could tell, the formula is really opaque and it's very metallic. I feel like these would be cool to layer over other lipsticks. I feel like they would add a really interesting dimension to other liquid lipsticks or even other traditional like cream lipsticks as well. I feel like these would be fun layering products. Moving into a couple of the complexion products that were launched in this collection. First off, we have a new photo finish primer. This is the photo Photo finish petal metal primer. This primer comes in the exact same tube as all of the other Smashbox primers. You get one fluid ounce for $39. In terms of the way Smashbox describes this product, they say that it's a micro fine rose gold pearls create a warm lit from within glow. It's got hyaluronic acid and shea butter for instant hydration and all day moisture. And it also doubles as a targeted highlighter over makeup. This primer has the texture of almost like a lotion. It's not quite a silicone-y feeling across the skin as the original Smashbox primer, but it does glide onto the skin really, really beautifully. It gives the skin like this bronzy, peachy glow. Not necessarily in an unflattering way, it's just different. I don't normally use primers under my makeup that darken or bronze my skin. I will say that for a primer, I didn't feel this extending the length of my makeup. I also didn't find it overly hydrating. So while it didn't make my skin look more oily, it also didn't necessarily hydrate my skin that I could use it in place of a moisturizer. When I tried to use it as a targeted highlighter, I felt like it was a little too dark to do that. Like I said, it gives this kind of peachy golden glow and it's a little dark. So I feel like if you had light to medium skin, it would probably even darken up 
this area. This would probably be something pretty if you just wanted to go makeup less, but you just wanted a little bit of radiance added to your skin. I could see this being pretty because like I said, it does have a little bit of color. It would probably slightly even out your skin. It's no BB cream. It's not even a tinted moisturizer. It is a true primer, but because it does have a little bit of that iridescence, I feel like it would almost reflect the light in sort of a flattering way if you wanted to go just completely makeup -less. It's just okay. It's just average. If you're looking for kind of a glowy primer, sure. Okay, something I really, really dislike. This is the Smashbox and Vlada Petal Metal Shimmer Spray. This is basically like, it says it's an all over illuminating spray that mists on a dewy rose gold glow. Oh my goodness. So this is to use on your face, um, before makeup, on your body, spray on bare chest, legs, and arms, and blend. Okay, so this is not a product you can spray over makeup. Don't do it, you'll ruin your makeup. The spray nozzle on this, it shoots out like a jet stream, okay? It's not like a fine mist, no, no. It's like you're spraying a jet of liquid. And then when you like blend in the liquid, it almost has this, greasy consistency to it. It's not water. It doesn't even like completely dry down to be like water. It's like a very, very thin liquefied gel. It doesn't feel sticky necessarily on the skin, but it just, it doesn't deliver enough shimmer to justify the weird gel texture that is coming out of a spray nozzle. This thing is $39, holy moly, no. The bottle is beautiful, but I genuinely don't understand. I don't understand the purpose of this. If you guys have this or have tried it and you actually like it, can you let me know how to use it? And then finally, I'm gonna talk about these products. This is, I believe, a new formula to Smashbox. These are called their Petal Metal Shimmer Drops. They come in two shades. These are $32 a piece, which is pricey considering you get 0.34 fluid ounces in each of these. According to Smashbox's description, these are a liquid shimmer potion that acts as a weightless sparkle topper for lipsticks or as a shimmering liquid highlighter for face. It's water thin, it's a non-gritty formula, it sets quickly and stays in place, and this is not supposed to be eye safe. I do quite like the packaging of this. It comes in just a little glass jar, and it does have the little, like, dropper. I will say when you first like drop it onto the skin, it looks so beautiful. I like a really dense concentration of glitter. If I'm gonna use something like this, which, you know, I'm using a glitter drop, I'm using it to get a very, very glittery end appearance. I don't feel like there's enough glitter in here, personally, for my liking. When you sheer it out, you can see, I mean, there's glitter and it does dry down, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't really move. That's pretty cool. I will say for sure, that's pretty cool, but I feel like there just isn't enough glitter packed into these little vials. I almost would have liked to see like double the amount of glitter that's in here because I put a drop down, it looks beautiful. I blend it out and by the time it dries, it's just like a little bit of glitter, like a sheer wash of glitter. Cover Effects also launched their glitter drops, which are a very, very similar product. However, Cover Effects released them in some really interesting, unique shades. These are definitely two very wearable, nice shades, but I have to say, I think I like the Cover Effects ones better. They're more concentrated in the glitter. They're denser and that glitter just pops. Here are the two shades of shimmer drops that Smashbox released in this collection. The first one we have is Rose Glitz, which is a rose gold shimmer. And then we have Gold Glitz, which is a champagne shimmer. I think for being a glitter product, these are definitely wearable shades. And the fact that they're not super dense might make them more wearable for the vast majority of consumers. But I guess for me, I mean, the vials just, it's not that big. And I don't want to have to use like 17 drops just to get the glitter dense 
intensity that I want. Sorry to end this video on kind of a low baller note. Okay, let's do a quick roundup of everything I talked about. In terms of highlighters, love the packaging of these two, but honestly, only think that Petal Metal is unique enough to justify the price tag. Another top pick, no doubt, the eyeshadow palette. Again, basic, yes, but the formulas are amazing, and I do... I really do like, I like these colors. The liquid liners, I think they're really good. I think if you're attracted to either of these shades, you won't be disappointed in the quality by any means. You just have to want one of these types of colors. Love the formula of the matte liquid lipsticks, but again, you just have to want these types of metallic colors. Same deal with the regular liquid lipsticks, like the glossy versions. I feel like the glossy ones are maybe a little bit more wearable and you can top them over things and kind of play around more with them than you can with the matte ones. The primer, mm, it's okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I hate this. This is a no. This is the only product from the collection that I really, really dislike. And then the glitter drops are, again, another kind of take it or leave it. I've tried better, but I don't hate these. They're just okay. So yeah, there we have it. That is my full review roundup on the new Smashbox and Vlada collab collection. Please let me know in the comments down below if you've tried anything from this collection and what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate your guys' support. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye.